Hi, in this video series, I'm going to show you how to create a uh, like whack-a-mole game where a sprite or an image kind of jumps around the screen and you can touch it. The player touch, tries to touch it to earn a point, okay? And so I, anyway, I'm going to create a new app and, and really what you're going to see is how to create, use canvases and sprites. Um, so you can do animation and drawing and all kinds of stuff like that. I'm going to call my project Tomas Mash because the little you know, Sprite that jumps around is going to be a picture of my son, Tomas, you know, but you might, you know, choose your little brother, little sister, or some famous person <laughs> that, that you want to want to mash. Okay. And what you're going to add, the main component is this thing called a canvas. And it just gives you a panel for drawing and or for, you know, animation, basically. And so I'm going to have that canvas. And then I'm going to also stick a button uh, which is going to, you know, when I click the button, that's when we'll start our action. So I'm going to call this button start button. Okay, so I've got two things. I've got my canvas and my button. You know, by default, uh, the canvas comes with a sprite, which is, you know, the thunkable sprite. So I'm going to add a new image. But first, I want to show you, you know, you, you typically, you're going to make your stage, you know, have some background color, you know. So let's just say we chose choose, you know, some kind of blue and let's just make it, you know, this, this blue color. Okay. And you'll know, notice you don't see a square around, you know, the image is actually a square, um, you know, but you don't see it, you know, so that it's a transparent background around this thunkable icon. Okay. And it's, you know, you can find images with transparent backgrounds. Um, you know, for instance, I can, I can open up a, a new search window and I can say, you know, search for a spaceship with a transparent background, but you got to be careful. Uh, like for instance, this one I think is transparent. Um, let's see, is it this one I think is transparent. Okay. So if, if in Google search, at least if you see one that looks like there's no background um, and then it shows these little dots, that means it's transparent. Okay. Uh, but you can also make an image get a transparent background. There's a bunch of, you know, free or not free, you know, Photoshop is, is a tool you could use. But um, Adobe even has a free service. It's called Adobe Photoshop Express. And you can upload a file. And I'm just going to choose a, a Tomas pick. And if I bring this, this is actually a big, you know, giant image, you know, from, from a photo. And I can, you know, both resize it and remove the background. So I'm going to choose remove background, and uh, you know, it takes a, it takes a little bit of time for for this to to work, at least on this big picture. I guess I could have resized first, right? Uh, but this is going to remove the picture, and you'll notice there it is. It's just got the transparent background. I'm also going to resize, and um, and I'm going to resize this image. And over here, I can just make it, I'm just going to make it like 300 pixels and then make sure it stays the same. So there's my resize. And that's that's going to actually change the, the size of the file, which is great, because in Thunkable, you have kind of a, a limited number. Now I'm going to download, and I'm going to call this, you know, Tomas Pick uh, Small. And then in Thunkable, you know, now I can bring that guy in. It's a little tricky. Let me show you. So with with canvases, you've got these things called sprite types. So think of it like a cookie cutter, right? Um, so, you know, that sprite, if you have a sprite type, it can actually change to different images. Like if you have a running man, you might have a, several images and the, the actual sprite changes, right? Um, but the sprite type is one or more. Let's say you, you're, you have an asteroids game. You just want one type, you know, of an, you know, an asteroid image, but you might use a bunch of instances of it. So, so sprite type is like a cookie cutter and sprite is like a cookie. Okay, but I can add new images here. So I'm just gonna upload files. And I just made, um, you know, the Tomas one, I think it's called Tomas Pick Small. And there it is. And uh, it's pretty small, one, 167 kilobytes. I'm just gonna open that guy. And it just gets loaded here. And notice it's got the transparent background because you see the little blue around, around Tomas. Okay. And you know, wherever I want him to appear when the app starts, I can just move it around and that's that's where he's gonna he's gonna be. 
Okay, so let's just, you know, just for the heck of it, let's go and preview this thing. And when I when I run this app, um, there it goes just a little bit slow. You know, notice my stage shows up and there's Tomas appears, appears there. Okay, in the, in the next videos, I'll show you how to make this sprite um, jump around the screen and then also allow the user to, to try to touch it to earn points.